Come on, are you saying someone will seriously want to kill an innocent girl? Oh, it's a girl. Frick. I've got the voice wrong. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Black Place. Today we are playing Milk Inside a Bag of Milk Inside a Bag of Milk. I have no idea what this indie game is about, but apparently it's 10 to 15 minutes, so let's jump in and enjoy it. Help me buy milk. Okay. Write down your name. I am Lact. I'm on my way to the store, rehearsing the speech. I haven't been out for so long that I've forgotten what words they say when they enter the store. Oh my word, this is loud. Um, shoot. I'm on my way to the store. Who are you talking to? Shut up and go. Who are you talking to? I imagine being a game character. What if it helps to gather my thoughts? What game? Um. Are we going to keep it silent? Okay. I'm deeply breathing in. <laughs> Hello, can I... Um. Damn, I forgot. 19th attempt, and I'm failing again. I bite my lips with annoyance. So once again... Hello, can I get in? Uh, can I get... Wow, a whole word more. <laughs> Thank you, I'm trying really hard. In my opinion, this time, the L sound was longer than usual. Do you think this is it? Who knows? Hello, can I? Ugh, I'd better keep my lips sealed. I'm so confused. Haha, <laughs> loser. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. By the way, you have been walking with your left foot on asphalt and your right foot on grass for a whole minute. What? My right leg froze in the air. How much? Fifty steps on the fifty steps on the asphalt and fifty one on the grass. You will have to cancel the previous step. <laughs> How do you imagine it? This is not the first time. You were taught how to do it. Come on, you're so stupid. I am beyond confused in this game. What is going on? I think I'm debating the voices wrong, but let's go. Let's figure it out. Um, you're so stupid. Stop insulting me. Ugh, from the beginning. So, step one. Take a step back to get your foot exactly into your own trail. Wait, how is it step one? What then? So it's already the 52nd. But wait, if I'm going backwards, then 50th. It still doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, okay, step 50th. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your trail. <laughs> could you could you paraphrase it at least a little? <laughs> you know, that's a, definitely a college professor asking that question. You can't just repeat a phrase without changing at least one word. People don't talk like that. You're hopeless. You make it sound like it's my fault. The store closes in an hour, so... You will be very, very guilty if you do not buy milk. Damn, really? So, are you ready? Yes, yes. 
I gently changed the position of the leg, peering carefully into the thick grass. When I entered the store, I asked the very first person I met. Hello, can I? Oh god, what is this? Oh! Excuse me, what? Oh! Excuse me, what? Oh! Excuse me, what? How long does this go on? What am I supposed to do? You'd better not do it. Uh, you're, sorry, wrong voice. <laughs> You'd better not do it. He's clearly not going to change his lines. You run the risk of falling into an endless loop. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. Oh, jeez. Excuse me, what? Oh. What? Oh. What is he trying to tell you? He's trying to scare me, but how does he know that I'm terrified by the letter O? <laughs> What's so terrifying about it? I have a frightening image as soon as I imagine it. It's like a schizophrenic patient. I did some reading about this and they actually associate letters with actual images rather than just the letters. I can show. Explaining won't be enough. But, uh, I didn't lick. Oh no, this is the O, guys. Oh, Isers. Something like that. So I'll just keep on ignoring his question. What? Oh, what? Oh. Okay, this is hard. <laughs> oh. I gather all the will. Into I gather all the will into a fist. Oh. Oh, and he's gone. Oh, I got an achievement for that. My interlocutor shook and crawled. Interlocutor shook and crawled. Uh, you just repeat it after him, and it worked. Do it more often. Wait, I said he crawled, but did he really crawl? Because I didn't even look in his direction. When exactly did you see that? When, did you, when did exactly did you say that? Yeah, uh, just now. Personally, I did not hear. You're just trying to distract me. But I know that my words were shown on the screen. <laughs> I'm standing by the shelves. On the shelves there are bags of milk. The two of us are standing, and milk lies. Or maybe... Hey, hey, slow down. Do you even remember why you came? To buy milk? So, buy. Right here? How, in your opinion, should I reply? <laughs> hmm, I suppose something like, not here. Not here, take the bag and go to the cash desk, you're getting on my nerves. <laughs> Let's give him a hand. I guess the first sentence. And you like... For spite, like for spite, didn't make a pause before the second one. I want to take away all my small victories. I sigh and pull my hand to take milk, or rather a bag of milk inside. Or rather a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Or rather a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Ah. Uh... Reception! Reception! Fifteen minutes before store closing, hurry up! I remembered what these games are called. Visual novels! And by the way, the numbers are written in there. They're in full letters. Um, in letter- in full- in letters. Are visual novels worse than books? But authors are not lazy there, and you don't be lazy too. What I thought only your thoughts were visible on the screen. Not anymore. So what's your language, hee <laughs> hee? <coughs> anyway, you heard me. Hurry up, or you'll or there'll be no good at home. 
already running. Hello, can I get milk, please? All oh, these faces and stuff are terrifying. Oh no. You have it. Ah. Eve. I put out a weighty bag at the pay desk. Of course not. Just a bag, but milk too. Hello, can I get it back, please? No. Please? No. But please, Mum will throw me out of the window if I get back without milk. No. But why not? Give more. But I don't have anything else. Hey. What? They hate you, you're pathetic. Pay for milk. <laughs> Come on, pay for the milk. Haha, uh, really? What would I do without you? I pull a crumbled cash out of my pocket. A crumbled cash. <laughs> and give it to the cashier. He starts to carefully examine it. Hmm. About two days have passed before he nodded satisfactorily, uh, satisfactorily and put a cash in the machine. Thank you. Goodbye. I'm walking down a familiar street past a, past a gas station. A bag of milk unpleasantly pulls away my hand, reminding me of the times I took physical therapy. By the way, they gave me a bag at the pay machine, so now I'm carrying a bag of milk inside another bag. Don't get me wrong, I just like the pyramidal structure of verbal constrictions. A gas station is getting closer. How are you feeling? Thanks for your interest, I feel like a mile of ice cream. What is that supposed to mean? As if I tell you. But I'm really interested. Well, look, the ratio of water to milk in the volume of air occupied by me is about 30 to 1. I agree, it's not the tastiest ice cream unless you want to drink more than to eat. So the way from the store to the gas station is a stick, and the way from a gas station to home is ice cream. For today's walk, my body will be in every part of this way. Simple maths. Okay. I feel movement under my feet. Asphalt, grains, petrol, stains. I'm trying to keep my balance. And how do people move on something as uneven as the urban plain? Neat, heel, sock. I count every meter of the way I've gone. I even close my eyes for more concentration. Hey, watch out. Ah? Uh? I unconsciously take a sharp step aside. At the moment, same moment, a huge bear sweeps past me with a wild ripple. Hey, I'm walking here. I'm throwing a stumbling peek at the rapidly moving animal. Its red eyes in turn look at me with mockery. Did you see that? How brazen. It was a truck. Oh, really? Although, if you think about it, are there bears with eyes on the back of their head? <laughs> you might have died. Come on, are you saying someone will seriously want to kill an innocent girl? Oh, it's a girl. Frick, I've got the voice wrong. <laughs> um... <laughs> The world is cruel and dangerous. Alright, now I gotta do a first one. I'm not in the world you're talking about. I gotta change my voice completely. Damn. My path my path continues. If you think about it, the way from the store has one interesting property. In the most bizarre ways, it adjusts to me. When I hurry, all the traffic lights are servicefully extinguished. When I want to cry, a cloud appears and pours rain flows that hide my tears. Right now, I feel how a cloud is slowly gathering over my top. 
I'm sad. Are you really sure this is really happening? And how else? Oh my. I, I prefer the other voice, but I've, I've got to stick to the bit. Have you ever been visited by the idea that all of this is only in your head? The instruction did not say that at all. Apparently these pills don't work on me either. Pills have nothing to do with it. Please, I just want to get home and go to bed. I'm really, really grateful to you, but please, no more. You must accept the truth. No! You must accept the truth. No! You must accept the truth. How many times can I make... No! Oh. Accept the truth. Looks like that doesn't help me at... Looks like lack doesn't help me at all. I guess I'll try something else next time. Alright. Write down your name. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share it with a friend, and watch again next week. Ciao!